Hi everyone and welcome to NameHero.com. In this video tutorial, I wanna show you how to set up a staging environment for WordPress. This is a common question that we get in our support department is people wanna know how to set up and configure their website before they set it live. And it's a really good question. And I know that many um, hosts offer this in different ways. So I'm gonna show you how it works here at NameHero and how the quickest and easiest way it is to get a staging environment online. So the first, there's a couple different methods. Um, for my first method here though, I wanna show you how to just set up a, um, a staging area for your current WordPress website. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go to the cPanel account of my site. So this scenario is going to assume that you already have the website hosted with us and you have a cPanel account. So I'm gonna go into here, now this is a reseller, which is fine because we're gonna go just to the main cPanel. So I'm gonna go log into cPanel from my hosting package. Now my example domain here is um, resellertalk.com. Let's type it in here, or resell, I'm sorry, reselltalk.com. And you can see I've got just my personal blog. This is Ryan Gray, my personal blog, and this is my WordPress page, okay? So it's, it's quite a simple page. Now, what I wanna do is I wanna work on this, and then I wanna set it back live. So I wanna set up the staging environment. So when you have this scenario, what I like to do is I like to go create a subdomain. So we'll just type in subdomain, and we can just call this uh, staging reselltalk.com. It's going to set up a document root. It's, this is where the files are going to live. And I'm going to click create. Okay, now it's been created. So I want to go back. Now I need to go to my file manager because what I need to do is I need to copy the files that I already have into the staging area. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these files here and I'm going to hold down shift so I can copy them all. And I'm going to go to copy and I want to go to that document root. So the document root's going to be slash, it's not public HTML, it's staging.resellTalk.com. And it's right here to the left of my screen. So if I'm not sure what it is, I can just look right here to the left. Copy files. Okay, so this gives it a second here. And we can look in staging. Now you can see all of our files are inside of the staging area. Now, we've got to copy the database because obviously you don't want to make live edits and, and save it to your live site. So we're going to go back into our cPanel. We're going to type in PHP My Admin. We're going to click on PHP My Admin. Takes us a second. Now, once we're redirected to here, we have to select our database of WordPress. Now, if you have multiple databases, you need to look in your WP config file to figure out which one you have. But this site just has one, so I'm going to click it. And you can see this is all the data in it. We're gonna click operations and we're gonna go down to copy database. And you can see we're gonna, we have to name the database something. So this is what it's called. So we're gonna put an underscore and we're just gonna call it new. So here's the current name. Here's what it's currently called and we're just gonna put an underscore new. We're gonna click go. Just takes it a little bit to copy all the stuff. Now we'll go back to cPanel go to MySQL, MySQL databases. We can see down here that we have our new one. So I'm gonna copy this name, go back to File Manager to our staging area, open up my config file, and I'm gonna go ahead and change the database name to the staging. And now I've got to make sure that I assign the user. So here's the user that I have. And so I've gotta assign it to the staging database, click All Privileges make changes, go over here to my config file, save it. Okay, now I've gotta do one more edit because if not, the site won't function properly. So I gotta go back to the PHP My Admin and go into the staging database, not the live database. So we go ahead and minimize the live database. The staging database will go to the options table and we have to change the site URL and home to our staging area. If not, our links will be all messed up. So we're just gonna click edit and I'm gonna take away the HTTPS, just in case we don't have an SSL certificate yet. Call it staging. I'm gonna go here and edit this one to staging and click go. Now, we've got our live site here. I can type in staging, and now I've got my staging site here. So you can see now I can go into here and I can start making my edits. If I want to go to my WP admin, um, it's going to direct me to the WP admin area for there. Um, but I can start making edits to the site and I won't make them to my live site. And then once I'm finished, 
I just have to go in reverse order. And if, you don't, if you're not changing WordPress files and you don't have to worry about recopying the files, if you're just making changes to the post, then you just have to worry about swapping back over to the other database. So let's just take a look at that really quick just so you understand how. how. So let's say in staging that I was going to put a new theme on. Well, I would go ahead and upload the theme and upload everything right where it is inside of staging here, but then I would have to move it back. So it's the same, but in the reverse order. So I would take all this stuff, click on shift, and I would click copy, and I would copy back over to our public HTML. And that's going to send it back over. Now, when I do this, I'm going to assume that I'm just going to go ahead and use my new database. So if when I copy this over, it's going to use that new, which was staging database, which is now our new database that we're going to be using. Um, so once you do that, then you would have to go back into your options table and change the URL back to your root domain. So you would change that once you're ready to go live. And it's just those two tables. It's just those two co um, columns in the table, the site URL and the home. It's just those two that have got to be changed. But that's by far the simplest and quickest and easiest way to get a staging area set up. Now this assumes that, again, you do have your cPanel hosted with us, you do have your DNS with us and set up, because the DNS relies on um, actually having that subdomain. Now the next question we get is from people saying, well, I want to develop a WordPress site, but I'm not ready to go live with it. I want to develop the site, but I'm not ready to go live. How do I do that? Well, that's a very good question. So for in that case, most of the time people have a reseller account. Now, if you're developing lots of sites, then you just need a reseller account because it makes it a lot easier. So I'm going to click log into Web Host Manager, and I would cre actually create my account first. So I would go ahead and go to create a new account. Now, let's just say, um, we'll just call this stagingnamehero.com. So let's just say that was my domain, and we'll just call the username staging. We'll give it a password. Go down here, we have to choose the package that we have. And create it. Okay, now once the account is created, we can click Enlist. Now this domain, again, this is in case you, if you, the domain's already live and you don't want to use it yet, but you, you want to build WordPress, this is what we're going, this is the example we're going to go through. Okay, so now I need to go into the cPanel for the staging site. So I'm going to click on the cPanel logo. I'm going to type in, uh, or I'm just going to go down here to the bottom to click WordPress. You can type it or just click it. I'm going to install now. Um, I'm not going to select SSL. I'm just going to keep it very basic. I'm going to keep it at staging. Um, I'm going to make it in the root directory, so I'll remove that. Go down here. I recommend making this a lot stronger than admin and pass. I'm going to delete this account after this video is over, so I'm just going to leave mine there. Um, if you want to pick a template, you can use these here. You know, we've got um, hundreds inside of here that you can get all for free um, if you want to use one of these templates unless you have one elsewhere. You just click install, and it just takes a second to kind of do its thing. I like to drink coffee while that provisions. And so I'll go back into here, back into Soft Delicious. Okay, so I can close this out. I need to go back into my cPanel, though, because I've got to edit it so it's not the live site, because we're assuming we're not making this domain live yet. So this, we have this preview link in cPanel. So you can click on it and you can see our link generated here. It's got this tilde staging. So it's the IP address, the tilde, and then the username of the account. We can see it looks a little messed up. Well, that's because we have to do one more thing. So we go inside a cPanel, go into PHP My Admin. It's going to load us up. We click the database of our staging area. We go to the options table, click browse, and we're going to change this URL to that preview URL the URL, tilde, and username. Click go. We're going to do the same thing for the home. Click go. And now we can go over to our staging URL and everything looks nice and pretty. So now we can go ahead and build the WordPress site, make everything look like we need it to look like. And then when we're finished, all we have to do is go back into PHP My Admin, edit these two in the option tables to the URL of the site, and we're ready to go live. We can then change the DNS. So that's um, you know, another way that you can go in and develop your site before going live and, and stage it up. If you have a reseller account with us, instead of using a subdomain on cPanel, you could just create a whole new account. 
But I'll leave that to you to decide what, which way works best for you. So if you have any questions on this, feel free to reach out and let us know. I mean, our team's always available to help you set up this, but it's, it's quite simple to deploy these staging areas. Um, and of course, this is what you want to do when you're redesigning your site, or you're making edits, because doing it live is really bad pra practice, because what if something happens? You don't want to mess up your live site, especially if you have traffic going to it. So these are the two main ways about setting up a staging area. As you can see, it doesn't take much time. It doesn't take any coding knowledge. You're just copying files over. I always recommend copying files. Don't move or delete because then what if you delete something you need? So the copy feature is always what you need to use. If you have any questions, feel free to let us know. Reach out to our support team. We'd be more than happy to help set you up. Have a great day, everyone.